everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video um, of how I do my spring slash summer makeup and hair. I'm not saying that I do this every day but this is kind of like one of the looks that I like to do. I thought I would do a sort of show and tell sort of video. I don't know if this is going to look any good because as you guys know I film on my phone and I don't exactly have amazing editing software but I do try and create the best content that I can with the things that I have got. Anyway, before this intro gets long as I always do, let's get started and let me show you the products that I have used on my face and on my hair today. First of all, I always start by applying some sort of lip balm to my lips because they are always always really really dry no matter what time of the year it is every single day they are dry so I have recently been using the classic Carmex moisturizing lip balm and I absolutely love how it makes my lips feel they kind of tingle a little bit when I apply it but it really does keep them moisturized I always apply some sort of moisturizer to my face before applying my makeup and at the moment I have been using the Be Good Plump and Firm Moisturizer which I got in a glossy box. I feel like this moisturizer leaves my skin feeling really really like sort of tight like though this isn't anti-wrinkle it leaves my face feeling really really tight and anti-wrinkled. I don't know how to explain that but honestly you have to try it to know what I mean. It just leaves my skin feeling really nice and tight and really nice and moisturised and I have really been loving using this moisturiser at the moment. my face and for today's look I am going to use the 17 Skin Wow 3-Way Highlighter. I've never ever tried this before and I am so in love with it. This is basically um, a primer, highlighter and I don't really know why it's a 3-way highlighter because it only says that it primes your face and gives you glow. But anyway, I really, really like it. Um, there's only one shade to this. I just think that it really, really works nicely for a spring slash summer look. I applied my primer slash highlighter using the Zoeva 110 face shade brush. I have been using my one of my favorite foundations which you've all heard me talk about before in some of my videos and it is the Rimmel London wake me up foundation in the shade 103 true ivory I really like this foundation for spring slash summer because it gives me such a nice healthy dewy look which I love during this time of the year it's not a cakey foundation and the coverage is really really good I would say medium coverage and for me it just works it might not work for um, other people but for me it is one of my favorite foundations of all time I applied my foundation using the Zoeva 102 silk finish face brush
really, really have been loving this concealer, which I had heard so many people raving about, but I'd ne I had never tried myself. And this is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Concealer. And I have got mine in the shade Light. When I first bought this concealer, I thought it was broken because I was winding it up and winding it up and nothing was coming out of the top. But literally, if you buy a new one, just keep winding. It's not broken. The liquid will eventually come out. Really, really like this concealer to apply to my under eye areas, um, down the bridge of my nose, sort of my T-zone area. Well, you'll see me apply it in just a few seconds. Um, but it's also really good for getting those blemishes. And at the moment, I'm kind of collecting spots on my face. I don't know what's going on. But it's a really, really good concealer nonetheless. I applied my concealer, or kind of like dabbed it in, using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. powder is I think it's £3.99 so it's a really affordable powder and it's honestly such a lovely powder to use. Some powders I feel like your skin can look so cakey when you apply it on top of your foundation um, but this one doesn't. It just gives you a nice um, matte sort of finish. Just really really like how easy it is to apply and can't go wrong. I applied my powder with the, again, Zoeva, <laughs> 105 powder brush. owns a bronzer of any sort I don't know why I used to wear bronzers quite a lot but now I don't actually have any in my makeup collection so to give my face a little bit of a bronze look I've actually used the 17 define and conquer contour kit it's a really really nice color it's not too harsh it's not too dark so I thought that it would be quite perfect to just use a little bit to bronze my face in my cheekbone areas just up the temples of my face um, just below my chin and you know kind of just dab it around um, other areas of my face and also my neck and to apply that I used the Real Techniques contour brush blusher and this blusher is so so gorgeous it's by 17 again and it is in the shade plum puff really really like how small and compact it is the color is just so so beautiful it's kind of like a pinky purple toned blush um, it's not shimmery it's a matte um, blush but it just is such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. I applied my blusher using the Zoeva 127 Luxe Sheer Cheek Brush. 
I've been using a collection highlighter and this is the collection oops collection speedy highlighter in the shade zero well zero well <laughs> zero one pearl sheen this is amazing for a collection product which is as you guys know so affordable anyway this was three pounds I think or just under four pounds um, and it is amazing very very pigmented and it just gives me such a nice beautiful healthy glow This one is kind of like seen its days, um, but I'm just too scared to go and buy another one because there are so many pencil eyeliners that just don't work properly. Like you apply, 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 and they just don't seem to come out on your eyes. I got from Marks and Spencers years ago, and it has lasted me very, very well. And I just like to apply this because it gives my eyes that darker sort of look which I really like and it just makes such a whole a whole load of difference to your eyes. Eyeshadow and again a 17 product. I don't know what's going on but I have been loving the 17 Easy on the Eye palette in the shade Birthday Suit. I just absolutely love the colours in this palette. They are all colours that I can use every single day and I just love the fact that this comes with a primer. The fact that this palette comes with a primer is just so handy because I'm someone who always forgets to prime my eyes. Um, and even though I did use, use this palette, I didn't prime my eyes before applying my eyeshadow because I'd already applied primer to my whole face. But you will see how pigmented this palette is. The colours are beautiful and you will see how um, easy it is to blend the colours as well. And to apply my eyeshadow, I actually used three different brushes. Firstly, I used the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. I used this for my base. Then for my crease, as I have quite a small crease, I used the 221, no, 231 Luxe Petite Crease. And then just to add a bit more colour just underneath my eyes, I used the Bare Minerals Tapered Eyeshadow Brush. Magnified mascara, which I got in my May glossy box. This mascara is really, really nice. The only thing I would say is that I have to apply quite a lot to see some sort of volume and length um, because I like my eyelashes to be quite long, so I do find that I have to apply quite a few coats of it. But 
saying that, it is a really good mascara anyway. this makeup look the soap and glory archery um, two-in-one brow filling pencil and brush in the shade hot chocolate this product has made me love my eyebrows once again if you don't like the shape of your eyebrows or if you don't can't find a product to fill in your eyebrows which makes them look natural or check this product out because the fact that the applicator is that's the brush spoolie side which is really really handy as well but if you look at the applicator the nib is so so tiny that it is just perfect for getting um, those natural hair sort of looks and it's easy to shape your eyebrows as well this has saved my eyebrows and my life to apply a um, lip cream and the one I have been using is the Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Birthday Suit. Absolutely love this. Um, it is a butter lip cream which obviously finishes as a matte finish and it is just absolutely gorgeous it's really really pigmented it's so easy to apply it just glides onto your lips and once it dries it doesn't leave my lips feeling dry or anything like that they just feel really really nice and moisturized really really nice off the look I have applied of course my beloved Makeup Revolution Re why do I always say that? Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray this is just a lifesaver this is the answer if you have oily prone skin and you want your makeup to stay on all day trust me it works always spray some heat um, protection on it and I have been using the L'Oreal Paris Elnit Satin Heat Protect Styling Spray. I am someone who does not like to apply a lot of heat to my hair but when I do I always always remember to apply some sort of heat protection. and also covered in hairs me and guy straighteners this heat up to 230 degrees which is absolutely crazy but they are amazing they have got a little LED screen um, you can um, up the temperature or lower the temperature as soon as you turn them on as soon as you crank it up to 230 they only take literally like two three seconds to heat up and then you're ready and good to go
Mega Hold Weather Resistant Gel Spray. The sound of a gel spray is really, really weird, but trust me, it actually works. And I don't think it's weather resistant. I wouldn't say it is because I've tested it and yeah, it, it really isn't. Especially if it's raining, it's not weather resistant. But it does have mega hold and it holds my curls in for a really, really long time. And if you've never tried a spray before, like a gel spray, then give it a go because don't knock it till you've tried it. gel finish. These don't actually have shade names. I will link it down below. Just so so good. I love the gel finished look and they're just beautiful. Because it's spring and it's summery, I really like to smell nice. Who doesn't? Absolutely loving the Zoella Blissful Mistful Body Mist Spray. It just smells so nice and so fresh and I can literally smell it on myself when I spray it. I like to spray some in my hair as well. I know that's really weird but it just leaves my hair feeling really really nice and really really fresh. And come on, who doesn't like this packaging? It is gorgeous. that is the end of my spring slash summer hair and makeup look I really really hope that you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed filming it for you follow me on my Twitter which is so Soraya with two A's and follow me on my Instagram which is so Soraya with just one A my links are always in the, de the description below so please go and check me out and do not forget to hit that subscribe button <laughs> I nearly said that wrong, that's why I went into a weird accent. Subscribe to my channel to make me really, really happy. My next milestone is 150. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm going crazy. Bye! <laughs>